All right, welcome to another episode of Fat, Dumb, and Angry. We are in my lair of pain and despair, or as I call it, my bedroom. Um, today, we're going to take an in-depth look at my dating life. <laughs> so, yeah, this is going to be sad. Um, I'm going to go through some of my dating profile and uh, check out some of the women who are definitely uh, too good for me or... Uh, no better than to pass on this. So, let's get started. First, we'll start with Bumble. Women have to make the first move, which when it comes to me is the worst move. <laughs> yeah. There's a uh, little code here. Oh, my cell phone, by the way, so you know what I'm looking at. There's a little code here um, that you have to learn the words what they really mean because nobody actually says what they really mean with like any of this stuff because if you did I mean I do but if you do when you do like you get very little you know real results because uh, the truth is painful that's what they say right and with me it can be excruciating <laughs> all right uh, let's see here <laughs> um, things like when you see the words uh, fun loving this is one girl's profile says, I'm fun loving, funny, passionate, and adventurous. Don't hesitate to get to know me. Who? <laughs> no, okay, fun loving can usually mean yes. You have a little bit too much fun loving. Fine, that's fine. I don't discriminate against that. It's just that that's kind of what that means. Funny, when a woman puts she's funny in her profile, that usually means I'm not very funny. <laughs> I think I'm funny, all right? Like, I don't say I'm funny in my profile because as soon as you put that, people expect you to be funny and you're never funny. Now, women, they don't have to deal with that because nobody actually expects them to be funny, so they can put I'm funny and no one's gonna call that I'm on that bullshit. Passionate, that's another one meaning um, I like the sex. Adventurous means I like adventures and going on, you know, having fun times, but I don't like actually playing them myself, so I'm expecting you to bring the adventure. When you see this, and it's a girl, and they're all they're showing is their Instagram like uh, profile, that means that they think they could be a model, pretty much. If that's the only thing they're showing, yeah, that's definitely what they're what they're thinking. If you see one and it just shows a Snapchat profile. That means she doesn't think, but she knows she could be a prostitute. <laughs> That's an interesting one. I'm a twin, born in uh, NYE. New York's no. What the hell would that be? Anyway, I don't really care where she was born. I have a lowered back Q50, which I've done all customizing on. Hashtag RDCULYSS in a car and a heart. Obviously, this woman's not for me. She cares about cars, which uh, there's two things that can say. They've, they're have they daddy girls or something like that. They're tomboys, which eh, that's not a problem. Or they're adrenaline junkies, which yeah, it's a problem. <laughs> independent. Oof. Independent means I'm going to need your paycheck to survive, so don't fall for that. <laughs> Tatted and pierced means uh, I'm going to expect you to enjoy my mistakes, right? Like I'm tatted and I'm proud of it and you better like it because I can't deal with you not liking it. Same with the piercing kind of thing. Like, you know, we get it. You can have piercings. Who cares anymore at this point? Animal lover. The less said about that, the better. Um, love, lost, married, divorced. Refers to dad as sperm donor, which should be a clear sign to all men to run. Run far away. Run as fast as you can. <laughs> so we have another one here. Dental hygienist by day, cat mom and wine connoisseur by night. Look, I like wine and I like cats. But this definitely makes you sound like an alcoholic. <laughs> which, there's nothing wrong with being. Uh, I don't know. We're all alcoholics. Well, I'm on it. Well, okay, whatever. But go ahead and be one. Just go ahead and say it. You know, you could just put, I likes the drink. Nothing wrong with that. Though, 
Of course, I would judge that as well. I'd say, well, then, uh, that's just a way of saying you're easy. But I love to run, hike, and do yoga, which I know is not exactly, I think, what they mean when they put that stuff. But I think it, what it says is uh, no fatties, which is fine. Women are allowed to not like fatties. I also love eating copious amounts of junk food and watching TV on my couch as <laughs> on my couch is about balance. <sighs> Sending mixed messages here, woman. Well, maybe not so much. This is definitely the clear woman thing of I don't want to be with a fatty, but I definitely want to be the fatty. Or have the option to be the fatty. I mean, eh, a lot of people want to live that lifestyle until they really live it, and they don't quite understand what they're getting into. These fat by nights. He's fine by night fatties. Get real with it. Or get the fuck out of my way. This girl, lover of coffee, wine, solo travel, music, and fashion. Hmm. This woman's gonna be expensive. Travel, solo travel, which means you're not coming along with it. Your money probably is, but you ain't. Um, and don't ask if she's hooked up around, you know, that's, that's none of your business. As long as you're giving me some of that sweet cash. I solo travel too, all the time, with another person, because I'm not a psycho. Let's move on. <laughs> Pups and wine, like, can you be any more of a basic bitch? Like, obviously, I'm gonna have to make one later as a gay profile to see what, you know, what the dudes are like out there, but it's, unless I make a fake woman profile, I'll never really get the accurate, like, collection of what, straight men are like, which I feel like, as a straight man, I know, but I don't know how they lie about the things. Like, obviously the basic man could just put like, I like beer and jerking off. Like that's, like that's, that's the male equivalent of like, dogs and wine. <laughs> I'm looking to spend my evenings with somebody who doesn't take life too seriously and is there to make me laugh when nothing else works. This woman needs help. Dear God, somebody, somebody find her. Somebody help her. Uh, she definitely looks like, with those words, settling down is my end goal. Well, from what you just said above, I don't think that's gonna happen. If that's not yours, swipe left. Come on, you're talking to men here. What kind of man swipes left? That ain't no man. Also, my thighs touch because because carbs don't scare me. Did I leave anything out? Just ask. And then her Snapchat. So what does that say? I think that says more so. See, I think something like that is not more so that she is a fatty. I think it's more that she's self-conscious that she's a fatty. She might be a fatty in recovery, which is the best kind of fatty. All right. Because they're not really fat, but they got still got that low self-esteem fatness in them which is like the prime. That's what you're looking for as a man, all right? Did I leave anything out? Yeah, you left a lot out, but you made sure to put your Snapchat so I know where to see the goodies. Here's a good one. <laughs> well, not good. I'll try to make it good. I've gotten everything I've ever wanted because I worked for it. Press X to doubt. <laughs> I've been told what I'm looking for is too specific but I took that as a compliment. I'll watch football, Marvel, and DC movies with you and I'll enjoy it. Oh, I'm trying too hard to be, to be one of the boys. Then I'll kick your butt in my, huh, <laughs> your favorite video game and also enjoy that. Yeah. Wait, is this woman, is she a man at some point? No, she just wants to be. With a name like that, Hoochie mama, you never stood a chance, baby. Though only one picture, so left. Because that's one other thing you learn. When there's one picture, that means they couldn't find any other pictures they look good in, which is not a great sign when you meet them in real life. Um, when you see pictures of them with multiple people, that usually means I'm trying to trick you into thinking I'm one of the hotter ones. You know, because a lot of guys, we just swipe, scroll down, and then you start seeing, oh, wait a second. Like, especially when it's less and less people, you start realizing, wait, so it wasn't those ones. 
All right, so it wasn't these ones. Oh boy, what are we getting down to? Oh boy, that's not good <laughs> by the end of it. But by that time, you've already swiped left or right. Fishing, sailing, medicine, science, pups, just calm dogs, travel, health, equity, and IPAs. I don't like a sailing bitch, you know? Takes people out in the ocean. What, what's going to happen there? They can't say no. I can't say no. And I will never know what happened on the high seas. One most likely to take home to mom. And yet here I am. Maybe because sometimes when they give out awards, they're wrong. But whatever. Love to read and be near the water. I'm still not over Brad and Jen's split. Oh boy. Maine summers are my happy place. Sure. You gonna expect me to take you to Maine for summer? Fuck. I just splurged on Ranger season tickets, so I can't say financial decisions are a strength of mine. Exactly why I assumed I'd be the one taking you to Maine. But I'm funny, so there's that. What was funny in here? Oh, all right, this one's definitely a screenshot. Hot Cheeto Connoisseur. She's looking for black dick. <laughs> Moving on. Don't, I didn't give that one right. I don't want to disappoint her. This is another thing you get a lot too. Um, women that kind of look like hoes. And then they put that they're a mother of. It's fine. You're an adult. You can be sexual. But if you're looking for like, you know, you're putting that in your profile, right? So you're looking for somebody who's going to care about kids or obviously enough that that means something that has a purpose to be in your profile. I don't think you're going to get that by showing them titties. A side titty. And, well, it's just not, let's, let's just call it front titty. I mean, this isn't the worst. I definitely, the worst ones are the ones where their whole profile is about their kids. And it's like, you know, it, they're not always usually that overtly sexual, but it'll just be a bunch of pictures of them with their kids. Their kids are the most important thing ever. And they want, you know, which is really good. I feel like that's how you end up with those relationships where the stepdad is like molesting all the kids. It's like you're, you're putting that out there more. And that's what these dudes are looking at and swiping right on. Uh, all I'm saying is keep your kids out of it a little bit. Like if they like you, they might not be doing, doing kid stuff. Where am I going with that? Anyway, but she has kids. So that's a left swipe. I don't even know what to make of that. I mean, maybe I'll screenshot it just for the hell of it. A TV show cut my hair 10 inches. This bitch got a magical TV. Holy fuck. I gotta swipe right just for that. Pro dancer. Usually I'd swipe left just for that. <laughs> accountant. Yeah, things that you don't usually go together. Pro dancer and accountant. She could be doing fancy dancing. I just don't believe it. And proud llama owner. Yeah, this woman is a... This woman seems like a trap. Ooh, this is the this is these other special one to get. You get the snap and the Instagram in one. These are the best kind of women because they're not gonna they're not gonna be the straight up whores that you're gonna find on like Snap. These are gonna be the girls. This is why they're the best kind. These are gonna be the girls that think they're a step above that. And they're like model whore a little bit. Mmm. Mmm. There's nothing better than when you make one of those girls a whore. You just gotta offer them enough money. Mm, they'll do it. They'll, uh, they'll either sink or swim. Give them enough time. When they're sinking for long enough, they'll start swimming, all right? So, yeah, I left. I don't really care about that. I'm not looking for a here. I'm looking for a mother of my children. My babies. No Trump supporters. Let's just silently move past that one without you seeing which way I swiped on that. <laughs> I'll cut that out. Anyway, <laughs> this one, uh, you know, you get this a lot too, where you get people saying like, they put like the places they've lived. So this one's like California to Minnesota to Boston. Uh, for now, trying to be plant-based. I guess he's trying to be a vegan, but that always fucks with me because it's like, so they kicked you out of California, kicked you out of Minnesota. Like, what are you, what are you doing? 
that these people need to run you out of town like Frankenstein. Because you gotta keep moving around. Just like politics. Hmm. You're not gonna like my politics. <laughs> Just bring up women's rights. <laughs> bring them up. Bring them up. All right. Dogs and all things HBO. So bad cinema. But I like girls. Girls with a bad show. Get over it. Let me do something from okay, Cupid. That's. Let's see here. Oh my god. Oh my god. Look at all this writing. Oh, this is the problem with okay, Cupid. It's just too many things for me to read. Like I understand. You know, you got to put people through their paces. Well, if you're a woman, you got to put men through their paces. But out of all the things to make us do, like it'd be better if women just put their they're simplified profile on the top of like a mountain or somewhere, or a cliff, or a hill. Like, oh, I'd so much rather that kind of struggle than a reading struggle. What am I, LeBar Burton? Barton? Cliff Burton? Hawkeye? I don't know what I'm talking about. Anyway, I've got a pretty badass sense of humor. We're gonna test that when I pull out my first rape joke. <laughs> I'm super mellow. And I'm usually always joking around and laughing, but definitely have my serious moments. Mm. That's always something you like when you're trying to sell, you know, how like lighthearted you are and how much you like comedy. That's always a good thing to put too. Is it's like you put out the trap and then you're just pulling it right back all of a sudden. Like, oh, I like having lighthearted moments, but don't you go too far. I wonder what her trigger is. If I know women. Probably a lot of things. <laughs> I love women, by the way. Let me let me just put that out there, all right? I know men have, it's probably way harder for women to date. That's a lie. But they're gonna wanna hear that as a disclaimer of the video. Yes, it's probably way harder for you to date women. You gotta deal with so much more men's bullshit, like dick pics, like first world problems, right? I've seen too many penises, no! I, I was move. I was trying to do something about how I felt bad for women, and but that kind of didn't come out that way. Yes, here's another one. Last year, I was a Chinese teacher in Thailand. I'm a au pair now. I am from China. The most important person in my life is families and Jesus, baby, and you. I'm up there with Jesus, baby. Now that's that's a, that's a prize worth having. I like traveling and eating. So what I would say about this one is, uh, she doesn't look fat enough to be telling the truth about the eating thing. Strike one, baby. You put family before Jesus. But the au pair and the traveling thing, you know, when you see foreign women with that kind of shit, it's like, I don't know. I'm not gonna be your ticket to stay in the country. And the real pain is most of the time they wouldn't even pick me to be that ticket. I'd rather go back to China. Can I blame them though? Me? Me versus, you know, repressive China? Even I might take that one. <laughs> I love this country. So, overall bookwormish painter lady introvert with occasional ruckus causing outbursts of extroversion. Your typical Sylvia Plath, Mae West dichotomy. And I hate that too, when people have to compare themselves to other people. It's like, you're not being honest. You're saying what you wish you were like, not who you're actually like. If you're saying who you're actually like, it'd be some boring nobody like the rest of us. I should be wrapping this up soon. I could hit on some, a few other things I think are very important. Um, when it comes to the whole online dating thing. First, one thing I guess that definitely would be when they put plus sized AF or BBW in their profile. That usually means, oh, well, we know what that means, but it, it, doesn't, it doesn't make you being a fatty any better. It's like, plenty of people love fat people, but it's like, what's, what's the male equivalent for that for men? Is there BBM or is there just husky? Whatever happened to the word husky? I'll take that. Online dating is a crapshoot, all right? It's hard to have any real success out there because everyone's lying. Except for me. 
Well, now I'm lying because I let some girl change my dating profile, so... You've been catfished by another woman through a man. Good luck with that.